in the front or in the uh, uh, admissions area. We have a really special announcement though at 315. Tank and the Bengas are going to be doing a special session back here. So come on back. It's going to be a great time. Uh, but for now, please welcome my special guest, Bill McKay. Hey, hey everybody. See ya. Bill, I'm so thrilled that you're able to join us because, uh, you know, at every festival you hear these names percolating, like, be sure to get a set by this person. And your name seemed to, to keep resonating in the conversations I was having. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, Thank so, and a lot of that is just kind of built over the amount of collaborations that it seems you've been a part of. So, can you maybe share a little bit about some of those, those part, musical partnerships that you've been a part of and what's been special about it for you? Uh, yeah, I have... Uh well, there's a couple besides playing solo, and I had a group called Darts and Arrows in Chicago for, uh, we did three records. Um, but I've also had a couple, uh, to me, that are notable duos, with uh, one with Katinka Klein, who's a dear friend from, uh, she's a longtime uh, uh, veteran cellist with the CSO, Chicago Symphony Orchestra. And, but she has this real improvisational side, so we just kind of hit, had this chemistry, and we play, and... Um, and we've recorded some things that'll be out at some point. And uh, so, um, yeah, we've been doing some select gigs around, but we've had this long partnership. And then um, also, of course, Riley, Riley Walker. I have two albums of uh, guitar-based, actually, I don't even really use that term, guitar music. It's just music, but um, guitar-based music. Um, we have two records uh, together, and then we've done other collaboration on uh, other records as well, but those two. So that's a... I think we've been playing three years now together, and um, and that's a really special collaboration too. And there's there's others, but those are the two that come to mind right now that I've spent the most time on. Yeah. And uh, Jude Riley connected mm -hmm. in Chicago. You're you're originally from Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, we we met in Chicago at a friend's uh, birthday party. Ben Boy, who plays keys on, uh, was in the my group Darts and Arrows, and in his group too on several of the records. And uh, we met at this birthday party and just kind of hit it off. And we had heard of each other, so we started to um, play together just shortly after that. And then I had a residency uh, at the place called The Whistler in Chicago and invited him to do it with me. And they, uh, they, we had been writing some material, so they liked what we were doing right, uh, right away and asked if they could record it as they had a label. So that became the uh, record that we had called Land of Plenty. Mm -hmm. uh, so for that album and the uh, subsequent albums that you guys have, and projects that you've worked on together, like what have been some of the connecting points for you guys, musically, maybe inspirations that you guys really resonated with? Uh, let me see. I think, uh, well, we're both like, have a pretty wide uh, range of, of listening. So, uh, I mean, I guess some of the, the ones folk-wise would be sort of, that are mentioned a lot, or like the Pentangle, John, uh, uh, Bert Jans, John Renborn, School of, of Things. Um, but I think there's so many others too, you know, going back, whether it's My, My Bloody Valentine or it's uh, 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 John Coltrane, you know, Riley listens to lots of stuff too. So um, it's sometimes difficult to pinpoint it. They're the things that are easy to pinpoint because they might verge uh, more obviously on what you are doing at a certain moment. Sure. Uh, but those would be some of them, I think. Yeah. Of course, then um, Riley, who's like, I, or I think when you play acoustic music sometimes, um, unless people have seen you play an electric or do some psychedelic music or something else or play punk or anything else, then that's just sort of what you do until somebody hears something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we both, I think, are involved in a pretty wide range of music too. And we like to improvise and, and just do free free jams and things too. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're, we're the song and dance people also. Very cool. Yeah, it's good to hear, uh, you know, John Coltrane, Kevin Shields, and then Bert Jansen in the mix there. It produces some uh, interesting uh, results. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. so. I like to think so. Yeah, yeah. Because you get things from so many yeah. I'm a people, huge and people just you talk so, to yeah. all the time, you know. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, well let's get to some music. Okay, so, uh, great. I'm going to turn it over to you. Please welcome again, Bill McKay. Great. This is song. Um, all right. Thank you. This is called uh, Powder Mill Park, and it's on a uh, group are on a uh, record that I have on Drag City, uh, the first one on that on that label. It's called uh, album's called Esker, and and it's it's uh, over here.
Thanks. Thanks so much. Oh, I'm probably not. I can just speak without a mic. Thanks so much. That was called Lonesome Traveler. I'll play one more on this uh, special other guitar.